Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Rugged Medicine YouTube channel. As you can see I'm currently on Amazon and then I also got eBay open on another tab and that is because Prime Day is coming up as you can see by the advert and that is 16 and 17 July here in the United Kingdom and this is just a quick reminder and a quick uh, sharing of thoughts about tawny case. Now obviously all these sales and bargain deals you can get are an opportunity to get things for a good deal, absolutely no doubt. However, be cautious when you buy medical equipment because not everybody that's selling what looks like legitimate equipment is automatically selling something that is what you expect to buy sometimes at two times, five times or even ten times the price. The most crucial example would be tourniquets. Let's have a look at tourniquets on Amazon. And straight away here you can see packets of three for £20.99, packets of three for £13.99, and then something that looks suspiciously like a cat tourniquet made in the US, or like a rhino rescue tourniquet over here, two for £30.99, and the list just carries on and on. Now, this does not mean just because it looks like a main brand tourniquet, in this case like a cat tourniquet, that you're getting the same quality, that you're getting the same approvals, CE approval in Europe, FDA, and various others that exist around the globe. So these are not a safe choice to buy. So please don't be tempted to buy one of these tourniquets just because, oh, they are so much cheaper, oh, they're a bargain. Always buy them from a reputable retailer and the one that is the main agent. Here in the UK for cat tourniquets, you got Fenton Pharmaceuticals, F-E-N-T-O-N, -E I think it's spelled, Fenton Pharmaceuticals, they're the main importer and distributor. Then of course, there's Tactical Medical Solutions, which makes the SOF tourniquet, um, and various others, including from Sam Medical and a few others. Now let's have a look at eBay, see if that is a similar picture, tourniquet. There we go, it's even already suggested. I'm not going to choose the Cat 7, which is a Cat Tourniquet, just to give you an idea. 1600 plus results, now that will include Venus Tourniquets, like we have here for IVs. So let us narrow this down to where the item is located. I'm going to go for the UK, because that's where I'm located. And here we go. Emergency Tourniquet from 799 upwards, 2 pack for 899 we go, somebody selling a brand new tourniquet for a tenner that does look a bit more like a cat tourniquet. However, you can't be sure because it is, after all, while it says brand new, it's from somebody private probably. So be careful when you buy things like that. Always buy from a reputable retailer because the time you need it, you don't want it to fail. What has been reported on tourniquets before is that the windlass, so the actual part that you turn and twist to tighten the tourniquet, has snapped. It has previously been looked at in studies where they were randomly testing those that this actual windless part over here that you see here on the bottom and in the middle that when you twist those they snap that the actual strap goes through this rectangle with the two loops that that snaps that um, overall things and tear and don't hold or that they stretch too much because it's not appropriate material. So be careful when you're picking those out. To cut a long story short, please buy from reputable retailers. Always see who is selling them as well. Over here you can see the item for you with an extra U on the end. Possibly not a medical retailer. However, if you're looking at main brands, such as they often have a storefront on eBay or Amazon, that can be a safe choice to buy from. But I would always verify via Google search or similar. Look at who they are, where they're based. Just because they have an eBay or Amazon storefront or sell on those portals or others does not mean that they're not legitimate in any way, shape or form. You just have to be sure that you're buying from somebody reputable. Anyway, enough said. Uh, Prime Day starting soon. So hope you get some good deals. Make sure you buy some from somebody reputable. And hopefully this content is adding some value to you. Have a good day, everybody, and hope to see you in the next one.